Yo, John D. Saunders here. I hope all is well. I have some exciting news for you. We've actually just relaunched our brand new website. And uh, I just wanted to show you behind the scenes of how we came up with the concepts and ideas behind this website. Now, as most of you know, I'm completely obsessed with Webflow, which is a CMS slash visual website builder that allows you to craft anything you want um, using their platform. And so we built this entire site in Webflow because we wanted to have full control of the CMS as well as be able to create multiple collections to encompass all this great content. So without further ado, on the left hand side, I've got the live site and on the right hand side, I've got behind the scenes look at the CMS and collections. And so first, I kind of want to walk through the site. And again, if you're a web designer, if you're a freelancer and you're looking to build up your site, here are some components and things that you'll need to create yours as well. So as soon as you come to the site, we have a clear call to action that initiates what we do and what we provide to clients. So we craft profitable brands and websites for startups. That's it. That's all we do. That's our main source of income. That's our main service. And that's what we've created a process around. And then uh, you can see right under that websites, branding, UI, UX, and site management. Now, right under that, I have a quick overview of our services. And again, we have these H1s and larger text just to help encompass for SEO as well as paragraph content here. Now, all of these are clickable to specific service pages. And so the way we structure the site, and I'll show you here on the back end, is you have your main services and then you have sub pages under that as well. So uh, as you scroll through the homepage, it shows you our tech stack, right? These are the main platforms that we use. And then we've actually created a CMS collection for each of our uh, case studies, which is super important. One thing on our older site was case studies were something that people really looked at in detail. So we wanted to make sure we had about 10 to 15 solid case studies to be able to showcase that are organized in three categories, web, brand, and then UI and UX. And I'll get into those a little bit later. So that's on the home page where they can click through and go and see those as well. Talk a little bit about our clients. I talk about our process. This was more detailed on the older site and it didn't get a ton of traction, right? So we had Hotjar installed and got to see if people really looked at this part. They didn't. And so we've really compressed it into a quick image or illustration and SVG file where they can browse it pretty quickly and then go straight to see all of our services. And then of course, call to action testimonials uh, or social proof uh, of our reviews and our, our track record as well. And then at, right here, we have a link to our form. Now, one note is our consultation. When you schedule, it actually takes you to a type form document. Main reason being is we wanted to make sure that this was a little bit off the site and we can fully control that form. So a little bit about that later on. So back to this. Oh, let me see where my head went. There we go. All right. So that's the home page. And so those are all the sections that we have there. Now, when it comes to services, we have a primary services page and then we have these sub pages. And I wanted to have, add this um, almost like mega menu to make it easier for people to navigate and have these icons that correlate. Again, this was completely all built in Webflow, very simple, easy design as well. And so if I go down here, I'm just going to go to browse all services so you can see all the service pages. So we have the main service page and then we have these sections under. So we have branding and strategy. We have web design. We have web management and then we have UI UX and then each of these have their own individual page header information. So if I click branding strategy, it'll give me the, the brand main timeline. We have some images and illustrations that we've worked on for clients. And then we talk a little bit about the things in that overview that's included in an identity. And then for the branding showcase, you can click any one of these and go straight to their brand guidelines. So this gives clients everything they need. So whenever we send out a proposal, I always send out a link to this page where people can click and they can see examples of our visual work here in real time. Um, and then also, of course, clear call to action to request a quote. Now, another important component is when you have these main pages, you only want to have the pages that are similar right under it. So they can go straight to UI UX. They can go to web design. They can go to management easily without having to go back to the top menu. So it's all about ease of use for folks that are looking for content that want this to resonate with them. Um, with them. So those are all of our sub uh, pages. And then we have our about, which we're still adding uh, the rest of our team members here. But ultimately, it looks at some of the tools and technologies we use in the agency, uh, a little bit about our main platforms, Webflow and Shopify, and then a little bit about our team members, right? And so we still have to add a few more team members here. We just launched the site, but I'm so proud to be able to work with some amazing people. Um, and we keep it fun and lighthearted. We have a bio, we have our favorite quotes, and then our favorite food and our favorite movies to keep it really personal and, uh, and, and fun. And so for case studies, uh, this is probably the most important part of the site 
for me. Uh, this breaks down our process and examples of clients that we've worked with. And so I'll click one as an example. We'll look at, let's see, let's do web. Let's look at Netcom, for example. So when you click the case study, and this is all pulled from the, the Webflow CMS, you're able to see the categories, some main images here, and then how we started the process, the plan, right, the sketches and items that we did, uh, a breakdown of the process, and then some gallery images here. We can add more and elaborate on this. I just wanted to have keep it simple to launch, and then, of course, the results at the bottom. And then right under that, of course, you have another section to view all, or you can just view another case study. So it's really easy and fluid to navigate throughout the site. Load times are fast and the site functions really, really well for those trying to find out more information about the brand and learn more about our business. Another thing is there's always a clear call to action right before the footer that has you uh, the option to schedule a consultation. You wanna make sure that's on every page, regardless of what content's there because People might be like, okay, this is where I'm going to make this decision. I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and uh, contact this individual. So if I go back to list, you can see all the case studies that are organized here. If I go to the website back end, you can see I have my CMS collections here. So case studies, you can see I have all these case studies published. If I hit Dime Consulting, for example, you can see I have the name, the slug, the, the e images that I have, the subtitle, the short summary. So all I have to do once the site is built, is fill this out. Usually what I'll do is I'll write this in a Google Doc and I'll delegate it to a team member and they can add it through the Webflow uh, editor, right? The, the designer is more so for me to be able to manipulate and edit the site. The editor is more so front end for someone that can jump in and kind of make changes. That makes sense. So that's case studies. Now, what I also like to do is add resources to keep people coming back to the site. Now, we have both templates and we have the blog. So we build Webflow templates, resources, free items for people to be able to browse and be able to collect as well. So when you hit templates, you've got a video game template, which we just released last week. You have the illustration website template, which is free. And we'll just click that one just so you can see what that looks like. So we have visual options at the top. We have view and browser or get template. So clear call to action as soon as you come to the site or page uh, to be able to go ahead and you can go and clone this, um, this, this, uh, this website template that we created. Then you have the images here, you have a quick little video, and then a blurb, um, you can click these to zoom in on the image to kind of see it in, in full splendor, and then another clear call to action here. And then of course, right under that, a link to check out more web templates. So this is just another component to add to your site that helps keep people coming back, keep them coming back for more. Lastly, blog, I keep this simple. Don't write a ton of content, I create videos, and so you can see all of our recent videos here. Now. When you click it, it has the video. The idea behind this is to go back and transcribe all these videos. So we're actually in the process of transcribing all the last probably 20 to 30 videos, and we'll add the text version of all that content under here. That'll just help with SEO. That's still a prog uh, work in progress, so I'll let you all know when that's done as well. And then the, um, one of the final pages is Get Started. That takes you straight to our form where we can vet individuals, learn more about them, and that brings them into our entire online process. Okay, so let me move my head again over here. So with that being said, there's a couple more pages, just the client login, which is for our client portal. We have all of our social media buttons here in the footer. And then we also have terms and conditions and privacy policies so that we can collect user data uh, with permission. And ultimately that's it. That's a wrap y'all, that's the entire site. It was really fun building this out and I'm excited to showcase it to you. Leave comments, ask questions, I'm happy to help and we will talk soon. Peace y'all.